Okay, now let's take a look at another restore at another CheckDB scenario. We're going to stick with the connected mode, but this time we're going to use the last minion backup to do it. So we're uh, we, we want to take the backup from, say, last night or last week, right? And we want to restore it to a remote box, but we still want to be in connected mode. Okay, let's take a look at that. So right here you go to uh, CheckDB settings DB table. And I'm just going to do this like that. There we go. So I've got one for minion. I'm going to do the minion database this time. And I'm on CheckDB again. And all of the stuff from before still holds true. I want it to be remote equals true. I want the preferred server to be minion devcon. I'm going to keep the preferred server port uh, null if it's on 1433. Only this time I will fill in a preferred DB name, and this is the name that I want the database to be restored as. So you can see here that again we've got our tokens, uh, and I want the, the database name followed by check DB from and then the current server name. So anybody that happens to stumble across this database can see what its intent was. It's actually a really good idea to do that. And then connected mode and last minion backup for the restore mode. And that's all you really need to set up in this table to in order uh, to, to make this happen. But there is one more table that you have to do something with because we're doing an actual restore, then we have to give it some restore properties. And I'm not gonna go into the full discussion of the restore functionality here, because right now this is a discussion on setting up the remote CheckDB using the restore. There's gonna be another video that explains all of this restore stuff. But in brief, I've got my minion row here, that's the database I want to restore. I've got my server name here that I'm going to restore it to. I've got file type, all. Where am I going to restore the files? I'm going to restore the drive is going to be on E colon. And the restore path is going to be checkdb restores. Now, this is one of those cases when the folder has to exist first. I haven't coded it in to, to create remote folders yet. So any folder you put in here has to already exist. Now, you'll notice from all of these others in here that the restore path, the restore file name, and the restore extension are all inline token aware. So you see here that I can have these variables in here as well. But right now I'm just going to hard code this. So the path it's going to be restored to is e colon uh, check to be restores, but my restore file name is going to have a dynamic component to it. So I want to restore it to the name of the database, and that is going to be the name of the database that it is now, followed by check db restore. And then of course null or minion default means it's going to get the exact same extension that it got before. And this restore database name over here, uh, it says db name, but this is overridden by the check db setting. So it's it's uh, it's going to be passed directly into the into the procedure. Okay, so let's go over this again. You have to set up in settings DB. You have to set up the remote server. I mean, you have to set up the remote job. So you have to tell it to do remote. You have to tell it what server. You have to tell it what database name you want it to be restored as, and you want to tell it that it's in connected mode and that you want to use the last minion backup. We're still not to the point yet where we need a remote job because we are still on connected mode. Then you have to go to path and you have to give it the restore information where you want it to restore, right? How you want the files to be restored because they're not all going to go to the same location, right? So, okay, now that we've got both of those out of the way, now we can run uh, check db master with minion and it will automatically pick this up. Now we're going to go over here and we're going to watch this because one of the nifty things about this is that we have the monitoring on this one as well. So you can see I'm restoring database on minion devcon and again in connected mode and when I refresh this you can see now it's 4% complete. 
So we give you the status even during the restore and minion check DB from BindyCon. So you can even see the name of the database that's being restored. Let's go ahead and do that again. Okay, so we're 28% now. Let's see where we are. We're 40%. Forty-six. I'm going to go ahead and pause it and come back when that's done. Okay, now you can see this is 95% complete. And I'm going to go ahead, okay, now it's 100% complete, and we're running check DB. So now we're running check DB and it's 0%. And now it's 5%, and I'm going to go ahead and come back when it's 100%. I'm going to go ahead and pause it, and we'll be right back. Here we are, and I thought I'd come back a little bit early. We're at 97%, and we can watch it roll over. Still at 97. And it's at 100%, and you can see the other window stopped. So now we have a remote check DB where we restored the last minion backup to get it. So we're looking here at line one, right? So you can see the name of the database, the name of the server, Remote check DB mode is connected. There's our preferred DB name in, in, the, in, the, in the parameter form, and so on and so on, right? So you can also come here and now remember that we didn't delete the database, right? We kept it there. So let's go ahead and refresh that. There we go. And here is that database minion check DB from BindyCon, and we have our check db let's come here and i can run this guy right here and you can see that i do have minion check db from BindyCon with the same timestamp so excellent let's go ahead and delete this database and you shouldn't have to monitor this you shouldn't have to manage this process right so let's make one small change in settings db now we're going to come here and say drop remote db and we're going to turn that on so now we are going to drop it we're going to run the same one again only this time we're going to drop it afterwards and i've already dropped it so i can not a new query so i can kick this off and we'll stick with it just long enough to watch it kick off here it's restoring let's let it get a couple percentage points and then we'll there we go so it's four percent uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause this and I'll come back when the entire operation is finished and I'll show you how the database was dropped. Actually, first, let's do this. Let's, let's see the database there first, just to prove it was there. Here we are. And you can see that it is right there and it is restoring. Perfect. All right. Now I'm going to pause it and I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. That's finished. You can see there's our completed run right here, or 173. And then we haven't refreshed this yet since it was restoring. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. It should be gone. I'm going to refresh that. There we go. And you can see that that database is gone. So it took the check DB from this database, and then it deleted the database like, it, like we told it to. And there you go. That is how to do a connected remote check DB with the last minion backup.